I'm Dr. Angelo Landresina, AKA Dermangelo. I'm a dermatologist and a skincare junkie, and I'm so happy to welcome you to my YouTube channel. So you may already know me from Instagram, Twitter, and of course, TikTok. Go, 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 go. And many of you have asked me about my skincare routine. You said, drop the routine. How do you look so young and beautiful? And up until today, I could not tell you. But now, we're gonna talk about it. My routine actually changes quite often, but today we're going to go through a curated set of products for daytime and nighttime designed to provide a youthful, glowing complexion with minimal irritation. And that's not all. I'm running a giveaway through the end of July 2020 where you can win every product that I'm going to talk about today. That's a $345 value. Watch to the end to find out how. Now, before we get into it, if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Also feel free to follow along on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Dermangelo. I think it's important whenever watching somebody's skincare routine on YouTube or really anywhere else that you know what their skin type is and what their goals are. Just because you think somebody has beautiful skin, that doesn't mean that what they're using would necessarily work the same way for you. I'm 31 years old and I have combination skin. In general, my skincare is focused on preventing the effects of aging while providing moisture and keeping it light. You'll notice that a lot of the products that I use have multiple actives in order to provide that glowing complexion, uh, as well as supporting players whose job it is to keep my skin moisturized and make sure that my barrier stays intact. In the mornings, a few times a week, I like to start out with an exfoliating treatment cleanser. The one I'm using in this routine is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Daily Foaming Wash. This cleanser has been around for a long time and it's got kind of a cult following. It has AHA in the form of both glycolic and lactic acids, as well as fruit enzymes to help support exfoliation. Um, my preferred way of delivering hydroxy acids is in wash hog formulation, so that's part of the reason that I like this. It does provide that exfoliating benefit without being too harsh on the skin. After cleansing, I like to gently pat dry, and while there's still a few drops of water on the skin, I'm going to apply an antioxidant serum, and in this case, it is the one, the only, the legend SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. So this bad boy has 15% vitamin C in the form of L-ascorbic acid, as well as vitamin E and ferulic acid. This is one of the most stable vitamin C products out there, and it is really the OG when it comes to vitamin C serums. With this serum, you're gonna get all of the tone evening, collagen boosting effects of vitamin C, but the specific mix of antioxidants here is more than the sum of its parts, so it has really strong free radical scavenging abilities, which is why I like to use it during the daytime to kind of boost the effect of my sunscreens. This is one of those products that I've used religiously and I felt that this plus SPF has given me such a noticeable change in my skin, especially when it comes to my skin tone. Also, the cosmetic elegance of this product uh, is really second to none. Right after you put it on, you're just like glowing and that glow continues on even after you put other products on top of it, so I highly recommend it. After this, I like to follow up with a gel cream type moisturizer, and in this case, it's gonna be the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream Moisturizer for extra dry skin. Now, before all of you start dragging me over Miss Neutrogena, I just wanna say, she was there for me when nobody else was. Even in my ugly teen years, Neutrogena was there. Now, I do agree that some of their products need updating, but I feel like they really hit it out of the park with the Hydro Boost line. I like this product because it provides that gel cream texture with the added boost of hyaluronic acid, which is really great for holding water in the skin, acting as a humectant, and plumping the upper layers of the epidermis. That, plus its price point, means that I could slather it on and I don't feel guilty. After that, I like to boost the moisture and glow of my eye area with the Kopari Starry Eye Balm. I found out about this product from Matt Wilcox, aka Dirty Boys Get Clean, on Instagram, and I really love this product. 
It's a balm with a sort of shimmer effect to it that's not really obvious when it's on the skin. I think it's perfect to brighten the under eye area if you're not the type of person that wears uh, concealer every day. And when you get to a certain age, like in your 30s, and you start to get dark circles, um, that's something that you might need. What I would say is that this product is best used on its own. Like, I would not layer concealer on top of this because uh, it would kind of be a mess. So this is for those days when you don't want to wear makeup. Last, and actually most importantly, I apply sunscreen. Lately, I've been loving the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Gel. I really just love the texture of this product. When I was younger, I always found it really hard to stick to daily SPF because I wanted something that wasn't cakey or greasy, especially because I do have kind of acne prone skin. Now we have a bunch of sunscreens with really great innovative textures, including this one. I feel like it just melts into the skin and doesn't leave a white cast or any kind of film. It's from Japan, but you could get it online from different retailers. And it is SPF 50 and PA plus, 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 plus through its use of both chemical and physical UV filters. Broad spectrum protection is really important to somebody like me who wants to prevent photoaging and who spends a lot of time indoors because UVA passes through window glass. Now we're on to my nighttime routine. At night, I like to focus on amping up the anti-aging benefits while locking in moisture. I always like to start out with a gentle cleanse at night. So in this case, it'll be the La Roche-Posay Telerian Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Having a gentle cleanser on board at night is actually really important to me because I don't want anything that's going to strip my skin prior to the actives that I'm about to tell you about. So this cleanser says it's for normal to dry skin, but I feel like this is really a very good gentle cleanser for any skin type. It is very non-stripping and it includes ingredients like ceramides and niacinamide to reinforce the skin barrier. After cleansing, I'll follow up with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel cream one more time. Next, I like to follow up with a retinoid. Retinoids are vitamin A derivatives that have been used in the treatment of acne for decades, but they also have great anti-aging benefits, including tone evening, firming, and wrinkle reduction. In this routine, I'll be using La Roche-Posay's Epiclar Adapalene Gel 0.1%. Now, Adapalene was only available by prescription for years, but it's now gone over the counter in the United States. I think this is a great starting point for people who are new to retinoids because it's actually super gentle, but still prescription strength. I also like to use a body moisturizer at least once a day after showering, whether that be in the AM or PM. And in this routine, I'm using the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Balm AP Plus Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream. This balm has a great thick but not too thick texture and includes several powerhouse ingredients like lipids, niacinamide, and glycerin to hold water and improve barrier function in the skin. Also, no skincare routine is complete without a good hand cream. Lately, I've been loving CeraVe's Therapeutic Hand Cream. This hand cream hits that elusive balance of being really fortifying, but having a non-greasy texture, so it's easy to use throughout the day. It's formulated with dimethicone, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid to add water to the skin and improve barrier function. And there you have it, that is my skincare routine. And as promised, you can win every product that I just spoke about. That's a $345 value. Here's how. Head over to my Instagram and find the post with the giveaway. Make sure that you're following me and comment down below tagging a friend. For five additional entries, share the post to your story and make sure you tag me, at Dermangelo. The giveaway will end at the end of July 2020. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below and subscribe to see more of my content. Also hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload. Until next time.